Hello elites and welcome back to Minecraft Leaf vs Wild. This is episode 125 and in this episode today we are going to be inside of this building here. This office building, this bank building, yes. It is beautifully designed and actually <laughs> you may not know it but I built this right off camera right before I started this episode because I was like, you know what, I need to start filling up some buildings. And from now on, every time I start somewhere I'm going to fill up the building. Uh, wherever I start. So yeah, this is a beautiful bank area. Uh, just three big banks, whatever. You know, whatever companies look like. Shoot off this creeper. There he goes, flying to his death. Um, there's the college area and the end building. We're gonna jump down here. And today we're handling a different kind of situation. There is not building to do, there's destruction to do. Because this area used to be full of beautiful, rich mansions with celebrities in the city. But they moved out. Nobody knows why. Uh, it's making the economy go bad in the city, though. Even though, you know, we're trillions above debt. We're not even in debt. We're we're out of debt, but we're, we have trillions of dollars. Um, so, um, we're going to try this in survival mode. And I am probably going to die. Because I haven't done survival mode in a long time. And my thumbstick is broken, so I can't really sprint very easily. Oh god, okay. Ooh! Okay, it's a good thing this rod of the blaze throws him far back. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Fuck. There's a witch coming. God damn it. Ooh! Oh, you hoe. The first thing she throws is a damn poison potion. <laughs> She's gonna drink that fire resistance potion in a second. Oh god. Oh no, please stop. Please stop. Ugh! Okay, oh god, okay, I was gonna go hide in the house, but you know what? <laughs> Skirt, we're going outside of the city. I mean, we're going outside of this island, because this island itself is just too dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna die. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're done. <laughs> we're gonna be in survival mode. I'm in creative mode now. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, this is just to show you how dangerous it is in this area, and it's pretty much the ghetto now. It's pretty much Colfax. So, and if you don't know what Colfax is, if you live in Colorado, or probably any other state that Colfax runs through, and there's the ghetto part of, the, of Colfax, it's uh, this really long street in the United States, and uh, some of it's pretty ghetto, because it used to have strip clubs and bars and all that on it, just out in the open, and then they started making them hidden because, you know, they were illegal or whatever, I guess, I don't know, something like that. So, um, <laughs> this is the Colfax of this area, so we're going to burn down these houses and gentrify. Time for definition, kids. Gentrify, G-E-N-T-R-I-F-Y. It's to, uh, well, let me put it in my own words. It's to take an old area and make it new by deconstructing it and then reconstructing it into something better, of higher value. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with this house, and we're going to move out all the furniture. We're going to take out these pots and plants and all that, and, um... Take out that and this this seating area for food, this dinner table here. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And it looks like it's daytime enough for everything to be burning, so that's good. It won't be so dangerous anymore right now. Alright, that's funny that's part of a wall. <laughs> Alright, and then the couches. Sell all those couches for lots of money. I can't believe the celebrities just abandoned these places. No one really knows why. But don't worry, we'll make even more luxurious places for celebrities to come back to. And even more than before. So, let's see. That's all the furniture in the house. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, look outside. We can destroy that sand area. That's supposed to be a, a garden area, I think. Oop. That was not supposed to be like that. <laughs> yeah, I tried making the area look all old. But, you know, let's just uh, this for imagination. There you go. Oh look, that didn't happen. <laughs> Anyways guys, let's see, let's destroy the rest of this rooftop. The rest of this house is inflammable, it won't burn. So, go ahead and destroy this roof here. Yeah, these need to be better housing areas instead of abandoned mansion area. That's what it should be called for this episode. Uh, look at the zombie in the, <laughs> the freaking <laughs> river. He's cooling his ass off. Alright. The rest of this rooftop, this flammable is gone. And that's that. Let's go ahead and take it apart piece by piece. 
And the outside, which is this little like thingamajig here, this little design, that is not grass. That is wool. And I don't know why whoever built here put wool. Alright, there you go. And let's go let's start planting grass for it to grow. Give it animal tear to grow for serving it. Chicken and a lot here. Oh, that zombie died. Oh, whale. Alright, and then over here. There's a creeper in the house still. It's creeping it up in there. Stop creeping it up, why don't ya? Why don't ya? Alright. And now, let's go inside and, well, first, let's shatter the windows. Get rid of the windows first. And the doors. The windows. And once we finish destroying this house, we're going to put it up for sale. And, um, I haven't found out the lot value yet. The lot value is probably, like, several hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. We'll set it at something. Alright. Now I'm going to come over here. Basically, you'll have to be a millionaire. A multi-millionaire to be able to purchase this house. I'm talking about hundred thousands. I mean, a hundred millions you should have. Because you're going to run out fast buying this house and then paying it off. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and burn this uh, wood while we take care of the rest of the house. The fire does one part. Let's Ooh! What the fuck? What the fuck? Hold on. You can explode creepers like that? Hold on. Let me try something. This is, a this is time for an experiment. You can light creepers. What the actual fuck? That's so awesome! Since when did- Since when can we do that? I, I never- Oh, that must be a secret update. Wow, they didn't even tell us that. Or maybe they did, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been up to date with 4J lately, so whatever updates come around, when I come back after a while, I'm like, ugh. And I don't even pay attention to what it is, I just like, download it. <laughs> I really should look into that. Alright. Now the rooftop and all this stuff. Go ahead and uh, do a- Explosion on top. Boom. Yums. Yums. Sight. Alright. Gonna go ahead and destroy this roof. Do it faster. Huh. The roof. Oh. Sight. I love you and I miss you. Alright, we're almost done. We just got this last room on the edge of the lot. Come on. Let's go now. Alright, the floor's already burned out of here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm talking about luxurious buildings here. I'm talking about a penthouse at the top of the pool and all kinds of cool shit like that. Probably not. <laughs> It'll probably just be whatever design I see online mostly. Ooh, or like one I just make up randomly. Alright. And we're going to add grass to where the house was, so that way the grass grows a little bit faster. And then we're going to put down a for sale sign once we're done. Um, I think, actually, we should also take down the fence, because the fence is something we need to take down. That's not going to be in the next building area. So let's go ahead and keep on taking this, I mean, putting this grass down so it grows faster. That fire is still freaking going. <laughs> Alright, well, let's we'll, we'll, we'll just get let it go. Just let it burn. Almost done with this grass. There we go. Alright. And the fire's gone, so that's good. Just this last of the wood. And... Let's go ahead and do this sidewalk or concrete here. This is supposed to be the driveway, but, you know, nobody ever used it. So that's good. No oil stains. No horse shits. There we go. And now the fence. So this is a pretty small plant now that I see it. I actually didn't realize how small that was. So this should actually be gone too because that's not a part of the sidewalk. Or the road or whatever. Alright. Now the fence. And I think the fence I'm going to skip because I might take a second because these damn iron fence gates are hard to hit sometimes. So I'll be right back. Alright. And we're back. The uh, fence is gone, but there's this ugly shadow on the ground. This is a glitch that happens. All you have to do is just take a water bucket, spill it, and then pick it right back up. And look, it disappeared. Now the shadow is, uh, the lighting is back to normal. 
if that if that happens to your world, because I think it happens to mine, I'm not sure about anyone else's. I think the city's starting to be like two gigabytes, honestly, because it's really freaking huge. So, yeah, and I've been playing on it for a long time, so. So we're gonna go ahead and put it for sale. For sale. Boom. And now we gotta decide uh, a price. Well, first we're gonna put a phone number that you can contact for the real estate agent or the real estate company or whatever. So we're gonna put some 2026. Uh, no, 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 no. 9869, alright. Actually, you know what? Let's change this to a 1 800. It seems more realistic. It's a, like you're buying it from a person. And 720, by the way, is the area code for Colorado, so don't be confused. There you are. And let's go ahead and put a price on this house. I believe because the plot is living near a college and the end building and all these banks and a luxurious brand new area that's being built, that's going to be built with 2086 materials from the year 2086. It's going to be worth about $64 million, about $64,280,000 to be exact. So that's how much I think, that's what I'm saying, you got to have multi-millions, because if you just have $100 million, you're going to have like 48, I mean, sorry, <laughs> did I do the math wrong, 36 million left. That's not a lot in this world. <laughs> it really is not. You could spend that in a day. So yeah, because of its location here, it's going to be worth a lot, okay? Um... The end building makes it worth more and stuff like that. Um, anyways, guys, uh, it's also going to have its own freaking rail line around here. So that makes it, because of that transit right there, it's going to make it cost a little bit more because it's going to make it more efficient and more easy to get around. So yeah, just so. Anyways, guys, I had fun real estating with you. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe today to become an elite and not miss out on any new content or uploads. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode I create. And so, goodbye, elites. Goodbye!